Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I am Kikai Krista. And today, I will be interviewing one of my meditation coach, Joanne. Hi Krista! It's nice to see you again. And hi to everyone out there. I'm your Transcendental Meditation teacher. So I'm Joanne Ge, I'm a Filipino Chinese and I've uh, in the past I've been doing marketing work from different agencies and different um, brands and um, I've been working in China and Taiwan mostly and recently I have been recently means this past um, almost two decades so it's not that recent I've been teaching transcendental meditation and uh, in China I'm the only uh, English speaking uh, TM teacher, so I teach everyone in China to learn TM. And now in the Philippines, I'm teaching hopefully everyone who wanted to learn meditation. Thank okay. you. Okay, there are three different types of meditation. The first one is what we call the focused attention. As the word implies, you're focusing your thoughts, your attention on certain bodily process or certain just certain part of the body or even your breathing okay so that is focused attention and because that is focused the brain waves actually becomes high so you remember what crystal was uh, sharing before actually the gamma waves becomes predominant during this time so it's about 20 to 50 hertz. So that's the frequency becomes high. So that means there's high activeness of the mind. So that's the first one that's focused attention. And the second one is what we call this um, open monitoring. So as the word implies, it's open, meaning you're not judgmental, you're open to your awareness, you're opening the awareness to feelings, not doing so much reactions, just accepting. So that's another kind of meditation. And that actually requires a bit of concentration. And thus, because the concentration is strong, actually the, the waves that is involved in your brain is theta waves, which is about four to seven hertz. Because you're lowering that interference of other activities of the mind because you're just concentrating. So that's one uh, technique. And before I go to the third technique, these two techniques actually requires a lot of brain activity. So um, that is a bit different from what I'm about to mention, uh, which is what we call transcendental meditation. In transcendental meditation, you transcend. You do not engage too much in this uh, mental activity because these thoughts are very emotional sometimes. They're judgmental and it requires a lot of intellect. And that's a busy, active mind. And there's, it requires effort and time. Now, this meditation, the third one, which is just pure transcendence, you go beyond that. You go beyond the thoughts. You just skip the thoughts and you go deep dive to the deepest part of yourself. And that's why we call it transcendental. So you transcend and then the most important differentiation is it allows you to experience deep rest that is required for your self-healing and for you to become more clear in your mind. Okay, you know, with this uh, pandemic, so much anxiety is happening around, depression, and adjustments, you know, in general. And you need a lot of creativity in order to face all these uh, different challenges. And to have that, 
The key is to have deep breast. I'm talking about deep breast because it's not a normal rest that you get from sleep. That is actually releasing a fatigue level, which is only a surface level of your stress. You need to dig into that deep accumulated stress in your system, and that can only happen through deep breast. And in Transcendental Meditation, it is able to release that stress two to three times more than what you can get from a normal sleep. So with that, you're able to overcome your fear, more positivity comes to you. Being natural, that's one more thing, huh? because we cannot fake it, we cannot force it. It has to come natural. And that's coming from the self, just with this technique that we teach with Transcendental Meditation. And then it will just come out very naturally. This is important that you do not force things to happen, that this is coming out spontaneously because that spontaneity is coming from the deepest part of yourself. And that is sometimes hidden when we're too stressed. Now we're trying to take it out. We're trying to dig into that and then it becomes very um, accessible to us. So that is the relevance now because you need to be grounded to yourself. You need to have more creativity and you need to be positive and Again, as I said earlier, you need to be happy amidst all the different challenges. Ah, okay, so this will benefit mothers who are pressured with this uh, way of rearing your children. And, um, and then those among you who are having difficulty to sleep at night, those who are having stress, and anxiety, depression, and you know, just merely someone who wants to have a clear mind and a better concentration. We do not concentrate during our meditation, but after the practice of TM or Transcendental Meditation, your concentration becomes better afterwards. So that's, I think, can benefit almost everyone as long as you want to be better with yourself, then you can be part of that learning. Um, actually, some people think, or, you know, uh, I heard that people would prepare some aroma, you know, you have some soft music, uh, and then the lighting, uh, all this, you know, it's like mood making. Um, they're good, but they're not necessary you actually just have to have one thing, just an open mind to accept this kind of technique. You just sort of uh, listen or, or try to do it right with your meditation guide or uh, you know whatever you're learning your meditation from. Just follow through, enjoy, and be yourself. That's it. So it's easy. Okay, so I don't think we need so much preparation. Of course, there are some little things like you cannot eat too much when you're meditating. You cannot be puyat or you cannot just have a sleepless night before you meditate, you learn to meditate. That's it. So thank you very much. That's all. All right, there you have it, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you learned something new about meditation. And we really want to thank Joanne for joining us. Thank you, Crystal. I'm happy to be here. Right. And um, where can they find you if they want to learn more about meditation? Okay, if you want to learn more, you can come to my website, well-calm.com. So well as in wellness, and then calm as in, you know, really centering yourself. Yes, okay. exactly. Got it. <laughs> And um, also, you can um, give me a personal message at Joanne Gue, Facebook Messenger. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Facebook Messenger, Joanne Gue. And then, for those who uh, really want to learn more, do um, you have any seminars? Do you hold yeah. anything? Yeah, thank you for asking. Um, we conduct every Thursday evening at 8.30 uh, an online talk, a presentation of what Transcendental Meditation is all about. All right. And for just for uh, you know our audiences now, uh, Joanne has actually kindly given us a special code so that you can use so use uh, Kikai Krista when you reach out to her, and you will be getting um, a special rate 
uh, from 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 uh, Joanne, which she kindly gives us. So, thank you, everyone, and thank you, Joanne, for sharing thank you. your knowledge. Yes, and this is only for the key guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, key guys, be uh, be excited for you know meditation tips on fitness tips on how to be more Kikai and how to be more authentically you. Stay tuned to this channel and please like, follow, and subscribe.